Double ribbon stitches on the Foff Creative Icon are going to double your pleasure. So you'll find that these unique stitches are found in the Techniques menu number eight. If you're looking for the single ribbon stitches, they are in 8.1. There's 16 of them to select from. 8.2 are the double ribbon stitches, slightly different in how you start. So I do wanna show you a couple tricks in doing that. And just a reminder that if you are touching the question mark and touching a stitch, it will recommend what size of ribbon to, that works well for these stitches. You'll also find the step-by-step, -step, just a little reminder, oh yes, this goes first, this goes second. So we'll be activating the needle down button to when we start, start sewing until the machine stops. We're gonna place the first ribbon in front of the needle in the same angle as the first part of the stitch. Continue stitching till the machine stops. Add the second ribbon, place it in front of the needle and crossing the first ribbon, that's the key. Then once it continues to sew, we'll be folding that second ribbon uh, over itself and continuing to sew. So once you get it started, it works. If you get it started incorrectly, well, it doesn't work. So always kind of uh, practice ahead of time. That is something I always do. And there is also videos regarding how to do this. So remember in our sewing area, techniques and tutorials, you can go to uh, sewing techniques, go to exclusive stitch techniques, double ribbon stitches or the other ones as well. In here you're gonna find that as you scroll down and get all the setup placement is that you'll also find the video. So if you want to watch this as well, just at your machine, this is the how to get it started video. And again, if you want it to continue, make sure you touch the button here so it will continue. So there's the angle of the first ribbon and then as it stitches there's the angle of the second ribbon but here's the trick once you get going and it stops for the third time it's the second ribbon that's got to come and match the direction of the first ribbon and then it's like a flip and flop so there you go there's the red one coming down and then a start and you're always bringing the the ribbons to the left, so outside of the machine. That's the key that you're looking for. So let's do that right here on our fabric. And don't forget, like I said, you can do all different uh, other fibers. You can do uh, yarns, you can do rat tail, you can do other types that are more than just the ribbon option. So let's just go ahead and minimize that. Uh, we'll just pick a basic one. Actually, let's pick something that I haven't done before. So we're gonna just choose that one. And again, if you touch the question mark with that particular stitch, it gives us again a recommendation for size of ribbon that is suitable and how to get started. Okay, so with that, now as you can see on screen, it doesn't look like anything that we're going to get, but once you get it started, it turns out beautifully. Now, once again, we do feature a lot of the exclusive stitches, including the ribbon stitches in this FOF Stitching Cosmos online course. So if those are uh, something you're interested in we've got links below this YouTube video where we feature 25 different sewing techniques and 18 different presser feet so we take these stitches even beyond just how to stitch them so here we've already played with some of the stacking stitches and also some of the radiant stitches that are in this machine. So once again, as you get started, make sure that you activate the needle down function if it's not already activated. And always use the start stop button for these techniques. That way you're not confused of when did it stop? Did it stop because I lifted my foot off the foot control or did it just stop because it's ready for the next twist of the ribbon? So always use the start stop button. Uh, we do need to kind of stay focused with this particular technique. So the first ribbon is going to go angled at the same angle of that first stitch. So that's this one here. Then we're going to go ahead and let it stitch until it stops. And then the second one is placed opposite. So a, kind of a crisscross of itself. Make sure again, it's hugged very tight up against the needle. Push the start stop button and let it stitch. Now this is the part where somebody can take the wrong ribbon and get it in place. It is supposed to always be 
twisted, after they've crossed, they always twist out to the edge of the machine. So then there's two ribbons coming down into the left side of the needle. So let's push start and then go ahead and let it stitch. It's going to be kind of fun, but it is going to stop and start fairly quickly. So then you take the, the ribbon that is at the higher level and start to cross it. Tug it nice and close up to that ribbon. And then you're gonna take that same ribbon and bring it out and down to the left again. So that is the key with this particular uh, choice of using two ribbons instead of just one. Now another tip would be to draw a line to follow, which I didn't, but um, that way you, if you're trying to stay uh, centered on something that it is actually something you can kind of keep an eye on. Keep that center red line always coming back to the line on the fabric and then that way you don't get any drifting as you stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch a few more repeats. This one has a slightly different look to it so I can't wait to show you what it looks like. And again, have some fun with the thread you choose to highlight with your ribbons. Um, you can use some great variegated threads with this, but I'm gonna just kind of keep crisscrossing criss down for a few more repeats. And I hope you'll take time to stitch all the ribbon stitches out so you have an idea of how they look and then to easily adapt them on to your next project that uh, you don't have to do a lot of testing because you've already figured out how it is meant to be. Now, when you want to end the, the actual pattern, go ahead while it's sewing, touch the scissor button, and then that means that when it actually reaches the final uh, the stitch of the pattern, so you're not getting a stoppage halfway through, uh, you will find that it will end nicely. So it hasn't ended just yet, so keep sewing till it has. And I bet we're getting really close to the last couple flips here. There's the lock that I was looking for, and then also the probably cut, there we go, and the lift of the foot. So let's take a look. This one has kind of a very fun argyle look to that stitch. So your thread choice is very prominent. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your threads. So double ribbon stitches, single ribbon stitches. Let's do triple ribbon stitches next. <music> 